Hi, my name is Ryan. Welcome to this demo on adding products and supplies to the Humble Till. This is one of six short videos to help you get started using the till in your store or business. All of these are available on our website under support.humbletill.com so you can go back and view them at your convenience. If at this stage you haven't but would like to import your existing products into Humble Till, please get a hold of our onboarding team at hello at humbletill.com. In this video, we'll be covering how to manually create and edit products in your Humble Till. To add a product, we have to go to the settings tab. Your third sub tab from the top is your products tab. Here you'll see all your products once they've been created or imported. You have the option of only seeing products that are active by selecting the active products checkbox. To download a list of all your products in an Excel spreadsheet, select the export products button. Let's move on to adding a product manually. Select the add product button, which will take you to your product screen. Your first field is code, which is the product code you will assign to the product and is mandatory. Our next field is description, which is the product name field. Next up is categories, where you'll select which category the product falls under. To add new categories, go to the categories tab under settings and select add new category. Unit isn't a mandatory field and is only used where applicable, for example kilograms. The barcode field allows you to link barcodes to your products. Select edit barcodes, then add barcode and add the barcode number to the product. Ingredients is used to build a production or bundle from other products in Humble Till. For example, in a bicycle store, you may want to bundle a children's bike with a helmet at Christmas or do it at a special price. The tax rate field gives you the option to add no VAT if you're not registered for VAT, zero VAT if the item is VAT exempt, or standard VAT of 14% to the product. Completing the cost and inclusive price will automatically calculate your gross profit amount and percentage. Products can either be labeled as a physical product or a service product. For example, a bike service, which would then not have an on-hand stock value or stock quantity associated with it. For record keeping, products aren't deleted with an humble till, but rather marked as active or inactive. The last field we have is serial product. This is used, for example, in an electronic store Next is suppliers. You can export a list of suppliers and their details in Excel by selecting the export supplier button. And if you wish to view your active suppliers, you can set your humble till to only include active suppliers. To add a supplier, go to the add supplier button. There are four fields to complete in the suppliers screen. Description, which is the supplier's company name. Contact person contact number, an email address, and there is also a checkbox to indicate whether the supplier is active or not. This brings us to the end of our products and supplies demo. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video on the Humble Till. To get in touch with our onboarding team, please contact us at hello at humbletill.com or for other support and onboarding videos, go to support.humbletill.com.